Hi, my name is James Townley. I'm in charge of the software here at Peachy Printer, and I'm going to be talking about where that software's come and where it's going. In the last three months, we've had quite a few changes. We've gone to a brand new software system, which many of you have already seen. Uh, different UI, different feeling, everything below is tested in the back end. So a lot of what we said we were going to do, we have done with that. Um, and we've just been working on a lot of uh, a lot of the pieces that the software will need to control to make the printer do even better prints. So what we've done with the installation, uh, primarily for the Windows and Mac users so far, is package it up. So it's just a regular installer file like you're used to. For the Windows people, you just double click on it and run through an install process. For the Apple people, it's a file you can click on and just drag it into your apps folder. So we've made that whole process really easy for our average users so you don't have to download all of the crazy utilities that you did before. Some of the features we've been working on now are the ones to compensate for uh, hardware changes and, and uh, concerns. So most recently what we've done is we've added a feature that accounts for the offset in the signal between the laser being on and off. Those of you who have your printers have probably seen on the beta that uh, you get a little bit of a jiggle every time the uh, laser turns on and off. So the software we've done right now is actually helping account for that and making that jiggle go away. What you're looking at right now is a Peachy Printer printing a special offset test pattern. And this is before we have applied any of the changes. So what we can do is we can go and apply those changes. And now you can see the difference there. You'll notice that that jittery light that was going on before, that was being caused by the laser rapidly turning on and off, is gone. And we're left with a really smooth uh, pattern now, which is a whole lot better than it was, uh, than it was previously. So uh, with that change, uh, we're going to see some much better prints without uh, any, any little artifacts that we may have seen before. And uh, it's getting better every day. We have a tool available right now that allows you to control whether or not your dripper is on or off using some Arduino code and a servo. What I'd like to know is what type of other tools uh, through an Arduino or through other sets like that are people looking for? If you have any great ideas or comments about that, please just put it in the comment section of this and uh, we'll be sure to read those and see what we can do to make it a more hack-friendly tool in the future. The goals we're working towards right now are going to be mainly stability. So we want to make sure that that software is stable, works very well, works in a variety of dis different situations. Along with that, we're going to be doing major improvements to the user interface and uh, in terms of the tool sets, just giving some better tools and improving the tools that we already have to make it easier to calibrate your printer and to make that calibration amazing. It's been great working, and any of you who don't actually have a PC printer yet but want to play with the software, you can. Uh, just make sure you turn your speakers all the way down before you turn it on because it makes an awful lot of noise if you don't have a PC printer attached. Uh, what you can do is you can download that from software.peachyprinter.com. I'd love to see your early feedback uh, and uh, see where we go from there.